Hello, everyone. My name is Wen Tao Shi, and I come from USTC. And today I will introduce my doctoral research. Uh, its uh, the title is Towards Reliable and Efficient Long-Term Recommendation with Large Foundation Models. OK. Uh, my introduction will divide it into four parts, background, methods, early experiments, and future work. OK, firstly, let's introduce why why we need long-term recommendation. As we all know, traditional recommendations mainly focus on immediate response, such as clicks, so they, are, they want to maximize instance benefits. However, we argue that it will influence the ecology negatively. Let's take sequential recommendation setting as an example. It takes the, uh, the trajectory history as input and try to recommend the most relevant item to the users. However, in such case, uh, some user may be uh, trapped in the uh, filter bubbles or maybe echo chambers. This will negatively influence the ecology. So in this way, we argue we should focus on more the long-term recommendation. We should take the whole trajectory as, uh, as a con as consideration and uh, focus on maximize the long-term cumulative rewards. However, currently, long-term recommendation faces substantial challenge in both model design and model uh, evaluation. For model evaluation, uh, we can say the online evaluation is a gold standard for, for it, but it will uh, impact users' experience and uh, cause substantial costs if we deploy uh, imperfect uh, uh, models. Uh, so most of Research mo mostly rely on offline evaluation. There are two branches of uh, offline evaluation. The first one is simulator-based evaluation, and the second one is off-policy evaluation. For the simulator-based evaluation, the simulator may uh, count align well with the uh, true, uh, true human, so it will cause high bias. And for off-policy evaluation, it will use reweight metric to uh, evaluate the model, so it may be cause high uh, variance. For the model design, traditional methods mostly rely on reinforcement learning to train a model from scratch. However, it is purely data driven. So naturally, the recommendation data is sparse and the long tail distributed. So it may call, it may lead to suboptimal performance. So, uh, so in this, so in my doctor research, I prefer to utilize the. Uh, simulation capability and planning capability of large foundation models to solve these challenges. Uh, let me first introduce the uh, simulation ability of large foundation models. Uh, famous work from Stanford is that given appropriate uh, profile prompt, a uh, large foundation model can effect effectively simulate the user's behavior. Additionally, with the help of retrieval or reflection methods, they can also they can also dynamically represent the changes in a user's psychological state. For the planning ability, a lot of uh, work on a a large language model, reason task and agent task, they find large foundation models can break down a complex task into some a easier subtask and execute them sequentially. Uh, so based on this capability of large foundation models, we propose the large foundation model based evaluation schemes and recommenders. Uh, for, for the first topic is still ongoing, so I will briefly introduce it. Uh, notice there are already some work focused on Utilizing large foundation model to simulate user behavior, uh, like rec agent and agent for rec, they construct, they construct large foundation model based agents, including a profile module, memory module, action module, and social network to simulate user behavior. However, both of them don't represent the changes of uh, uh, a user's mental state, which which I will to explore in the future work. And for the last foundation model-based recommenders, there are two significant challenges. The first one is there are significant gap between large foundation models and recommender systems. And the second one is recommendation system require providing personalized recommendation to users. So we need, uh, 
uh, to develop a large foundation model based recommender, we need to adapt a large foundation model to recommendation fields. Uh, we have two uh, popular ways to solve this problem. First one is in context learning, and the second one is supervised fine tuning and uh, reinforcement fine tuning. For the first uh, for the first one, it is easy to apply and resource friendly, but uh, for the second solution, it will achieve it can achieve better performance, but it's still ongoing. Uh, okay, now let's uh, uh, first break, uh, uh, mainly introduce the first in-context learning method. Uh, I, pro I propose a bi-level in-context learning framework to conduct, uh, to adapt the large foundation model to recommender system scenario. Uh, before we delve into this figure, we can f mainly focus on the workflow of this figure. Uh, the workflow, the first part of the workflow is the planner. The planner wants to generate problem solving plans, uh, maybe source, and uh, in the source, the recommendation task is broken into sequential step by step step plans, which will strike a balance between exploration and expo exploitation. And uh, the second main part of the workflow is actor. The actor recommends item, or you can say it takes a action to the user. So in this way, the, we can observe the uh, reward and new state from the environment. This is the main workflow of my framework. Uh, based on above, above of this uh, workflow, we, we introduce two uh, learning mechanisms, micro-learning mechanisms and micro-learning mechanisms. For micro-learning, it, it it consists of a planner module and a reflector module. They want to generate more appropriate plans where the reflector extracts high-level guiding principles from historical episodes and incorporates them into the input of planner to enhance the quality of plans. And for micro-learning, it involves the actor and the critic module. They want to generate more personalized recommendation where the critic module assigns users' current uh, satisfaction level uh, and updates the policy of actor to enhance personalized recommendations. Uh, the more detail you can refer to the, to the word. Uh, today I want to introduce more is uh, why is uh, in-context learning methods can improve the policy? Uh, that was an important question. Uh, let's take uh, policy gradient as an example. The purpose of gradient update is to wants to adjust the, the per parameters to increase the pro probability of sampling the specific action. In this example, is action two for the given state S. So if we use in-context learning, we can uh, store the uh, ac uh, state action pair uh, as an A2 uh, in the memory bank. When encountering a similar state, again, we can retrieve uh, the state action pair from the memory bank and uh, uh, take them as a prompt of our large language model. In this way, it can enhance the probability of executing exec that specific action in this state. So in this way, in-context le in learning methods can also improve the strategy. For the further, I will, I will also use the utilize reinforcement learn, uh, fine tuning work. It will consist of a uh, bi-level uh, reinforcement learning methods. It will have bi-level reverse models. Uh, for the entrance level uh, reinforcement learning, it will learn multi turn effect of recommendations. And for the token level reinforcement learning, it will learn how to conduct personalized recommendations. Uh, the work is still ongoing, so I uh, just briefly introduce it. Uh, so I conduct some early experiments of my in context learning based recommenders. Uh, as, we, as we can see, uh, Bleep is our framework. It can consistently achieve the best long term performance over traditional reinforcement learning based methods and large language model based baselines across two data sites. <coughs> and secondly, interestingly, we can find the Bleep can ex exhibits significantly better planning capabilities on long tail items. They can effectively elevate the issue of filter bubbles and maximize long-term engagement. So in the future work, I will utilize the simulation capability and the planning capability of large foundation models to solve 
uh, solve these uh, problems in model evaluation and policy design and towards reliable and efficient long-term recommendation. Thanks.